Hello everyone, my name is Sonic Kokat and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. And today we're going to create the create method for the backend using Symfony and Axios. So, first of all, this is where we get the data or well, post create the data. So when we submit the JavaScript function to actually create it, this is what's going to be submitted. Currently it's already submitting to the front end, but we don't want to do that just yet. Instead, we want to put it inside an Axios statement. So Axios post is what we're going to be using to post our data to the database. So I'm going to put this inside of uh, single quotes here in the URLs, the first uh, parameter, which is going to be API slash to do slash create, right? and then a comma and then uh, curly brackets to submit the data that we want to do. So in this case, it's going to be a name for the to-do, which is going to be to-do.name, right? The, the to-do that's coming in and the to-do.name. That's what we want to send here. Um, I guess theoretically, I could also just put in the entire to-do. Yeah, that is actually a good idea. I could just do this as a, as data, I don't really have to put the curly brackets on it because it's already an object. So I could just submit the entire to do like this and that'll be fine. Then dot then uh, response arrow function. And then we're just going to lock the response dot data uh, and the catch phrase error. And then we're going to error lock the error down here. And then we want to put inside the then that's when we want to actually proceed with the data. Uh, and I don't actually think I want to push this to do. I want to pr uh, push the response dot to do. So response dot data dot to do. I want to get the to do that we're going to, the, 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 the to do we want to push is the to do that we get from the database back once we've created it because it needs an ID and everything. And just by getting the, the to do from the incoming JavaScript one, it's just going to have a name. It's not going to have an ID. So in order to make this work, we need to get the, uh, the the actual to do back from the create and post that to the array. So what we want to do now is go to our controller and create another like an, another uh, function basically, and that's going to be called create. And we're not going to be running any of these things. We're going to run some completely other stuff. Uh, also inside these little things, uh, these names need to be changed to whatever the hell the links are representing. So in this case, it's going to be API underscore to do. And in here, it's going to be API underscore to do underscore read. And that's just to get Symphony to know that they're different. There could be errors coming up if you were not to change them. And here as well, API underscore to do underscore create. All right. So inside the create method, we need to do something completely different. So first of all, we need to get the actual data, which is going to be a variable called content. In this case, we could name it anything you want, really, but we're going to call it content. And we need to JSON decode, sorry, JSON decode the incoming response. So in order to get that response, we also need to make use of a request. So and the request that we want is symphony component HTTP foundation and uh, we're going to put the request right there in it. Okay. And there we go. Now what we can do now is go into that request and say get content. Right. So this is going to JSON decode the request and get the content. Now let's see what is the area. Oh, we, we also need to add extension JSON to the composer.json. We can just do that by clicking here. And what it will do is it will add extension JSON or extension uh, dash JSON. Uh, with any version to the required portion of the uh, of, of, of symphony here, really. So that's what it's doing. So that's the composer of JSON. We need to add that, I guess. And then after that is done, we can actually start to work with this to do. So let's first of all, just lock the content, right? Let's just do or uh, dump and die the content so we can see what is happening here. So let's submit this. So let's just submit a new to do. So test and we submit that. Now let's inspect the element and we're going to network tab. Uh, hold on, reload, do it again, test, submit. And we can see that it has a failed request. And what it does is it shows me no route found for API to do slash create. Okay, so that's a little bit strange. Um, let me go and look at this. Oh, yeah, of course, the route is not 
changed yet. So create, change that. There we go. Try again, test, post, and look at the console, create, and we get this back, which is the name test. So we get this object notation right here. This is the JSON that we get returned. So now we can actually do something with that. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to create a new to-do. So we want to create a to-do equals new to-do, which is a to-do app entity, mind you. And what we want to do then is set the name for that to-do. So to-do set name, because it's now a to-do object, we can set the name and we want to set it to content name. The content that we get in it and its name because that's the, the array that we got. So we have those object notations of name. So now we have access to that. We set the name. Now what do we want to do is we want to persist this to the database. Now I'm going to do a try and catch here. I mean, I don't have to, but it is a nice method of doing things. So I'm going to try and catch this and uh, I'm going to add an exception to this. There we go. And I'm going to simplify it by putting it up at the top and inside the try, we're going to the entity manager and persist the to do and then go into the entity manager and then flush, which is going to update the database. And then let's see, or something along those lines. I'm not still not very keen on the entire concept of flush. I just know it works. Uh, and there we go, exception, there we go, any catchphrase, and there we would want to return some JSON in case it goes wrong, uh, but in case it goes well, we want to return some other JSON, which is going to be, well, first of all, the to-do, which is going to be the to-do, and we want to return itself as an array, because we want it to uh, give itself back uh, as an array, otherwise we would get the entire entity back, and that's not what we want, so... We're going to turn it into an array that's going to be returned as JSON. And in case anything goes wrong, well, we can later down the line put an error message right here. So I'm just going to say error message right here that we're going to do later. I don't have a message interface yet. We're going to take care of that later. But here we go. And uh, that is supposed to be it. Yeah. So let's go back to. Oh, hold on a minute. We got some errors here. Add a return type to do. PHP stuff and replace qualifier with an import, sure. And that's how it looks like now. So we got a route, create, we got a parameter, request, request, JSON response. I mean, these things are not, these parameters return, that's not really necessary for the PHP docs, but PHP docs is kind of nice. Uh, it gives you an idea of what it, this function is supposed to do. It's supposed to return JSON, it has a parameter, this is the route. You know, stuff like that. It's really easy uh, and useful, actually. Like, you could put these anywhere you want by doing a slash and then uh, dual star and then press enter. And that's how you get a PHP doc going. And if you put it above, above functions, you get an automatic one, which is kind of nice. So, anyway. So, with this done, let's see what we now get here. So, we res we lock the response.data, right? We lock the response.data. The, the do die is gone already. Okay. So, let's go and go back to the to-do app. And I'm going to post to do in here. Ah, it gets added. Okay, good. And inspect console. So this is what we get back. We get back a to do which has an idea and a name and that gets pushed back. So now that is entered into the database and as well as in the front end. So with that all being said, that is pretty darn cool. So yeah, now we can edit it later and delete it later, but this is how to create and add it to the database. Uh, and now, of course, we want to use messages later down the line. I'm going to add a message box that appears here or a material UI snack bar later that will show a message every single time a to do is created, deleted or whatever. Um, but we're going to talk about that at a later date. So this is how we create to do's using Symfony and Axios. Axios submitting it, of course, submitting that entire to do as the data. Uh, you could also like put it in brackets and like then put it to do as data, but whatever. Uh, we want the entire to do basically as the content. So we're gonna submit the entire to do. Then we get the response. Uh, the response dot data is the data that that's coming in from the response, which in this case is the return JSON. So this is what we get from the response. That's gonna be set as the new to do. We're gonna push that to the array. And then we set the new state. 
And finally, of course, if we have errors, then those will be logged as well. So if, for example, my link is not right, we will now get an error in the console, or we should be getting an error in the console. Yeah, sorry, need to run it. And it doesn't work, and we get an error here saying that there is an error here, and it says that there is an error on create error, uh, or sorry, um, uh, to do context line 27. So to do context line 27, there we go, that's where we're logging it, and something must have gone wrong then in this entire function. And that's right, because the link is not correct. So now it works again. So let's see, test to do, or yeah, test to do, add that to the list, and it works. And when we refresh the page, it remains because it's from a database. So that's been it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked it, learned a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.